Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna review Krilla. So she was one of my favorite character on the past. Is she still good on Neo Vision form? Let's begin from her stats. Like you can see that her stats is definitely amazing. She has nice health boost, nice spirit. So yes, she can survive lots of magical attack and spirit also important because that will increase her damage. But again, maybe her damage is not that important because she is a backup chainer, not your main damage dealer. Okay, and yes, other than that, I must say it's kind of ordinary. You can ignore the human and fairy magic killer because like I said, you don't need to care about her damage that much and yes on brave she form she has fatal damage protection and on normal form she has 30% physical efficient and 20% magic efficient and because like I said you don't need to make her into damage dealer you can try to balance your physical efficient with 100% provoker that way she can become uh, innate provoker with 100% efficient that will improve her value on your party so that's for her stats now let's take a look on her normal form so on normal form the biggest upgrade now is she gets triple cast why this is huge upgrade because she is also a bolting strike chainer and with triple cast that means she able to chain with your main attackers like let's say Starlight Elena or other bolting strike chainer very decent okay and the her bolting strike chain also break enemy stats by 80% it only lasts for two turns but because you can simply spam this on every turn you don't need to worry about that bad news is this skill is locked to two elements light and dark so you cannot change the element because it is magic attack so let's say if you want to chain ice bolting strike then you cannot do that okay that's her weakness other than bolting strike she also able to chain with chaos wave and absolute zero and same for same like bolting strike those two chaining families are also two elements okay for chaos wave you can care less about that chaining family but for absolute zero it is quite important because yes we just got christine okay so she can become nice christine partner and yes talking about elements she also able to imperil those elements but it is only by 75 percent but yes she has better imperil she can imperil all elemental by 100 percent but the bad news is it only lasts for one turn so you need to time your attack other than that she can also use super dispel but again it is very sad they don't improve it on neo vision form because i think they should improve the cooldown time for now it is 10 turns which is very long but still it is very nice to use on a battle Okay, very nice and she also able to cancel magic so it might come handy on some trials so it is always nice thing to have and she also able to feel 15 and limit burst crystals to all allies except for herself uh, nothing so special be uh, in this 15 L LB crystals because like you know that we have realm who able to feel limit burst gauge to full Okay, still it is pretty decent and for grandest ability she able to break 85% yes it is good 85% but again like you can see she only able to do it two times so it is limited that mean this with this grandest you can only maintain 85% break for six turns assuming you don't need to dispel anything from enemies it is enough okay for most battles on this game because yeah, usually trial battle lasts like 9 turns, 10 turns, so quite decent, I guess. And also, all elemental imperil 110%. Very nice. If your main attacker cannot imperil the enemy elemental resist. Okay, and I can say that you don't need to care about hex damage because 
most royal bosses right now have like billion health so yeah dealing like three four million per turn are not are not worth i think okay so that's it for the normal form let's take a look on prep she form prep she form she only able to chain with bolting strike and it is still the same like and dark element but on this form she can imbue your attacker by light and dark element okay so this is a nice thing because like you know that she can she cannot match other elements so ability to make other match yours are quite important and not only that she also increased 15 percent for those light and dark elements so very nice and she also able to buff 300 percent attack magic or defense spirit so this one is nice let's say in the future we get like mastermind son or yeah even now if you use mastermind son you can apply this 300 percent attack and magic buff to all allies very nice but i think the best feature of this prep she form is the grandest ability you can only use it once but yes it increased all stats by 250 percent very decent yes i know it is not 300 percent but still 250 percent are pretty high and yes it imperil 130 percent all elemental to all enemies so yes it is above average and sure it imperil your own elements by 100 percent so it is the biggest weakness i think you don't want to use it on trials because 100% all elemental imperil is quite dangerous for your party but this kind of skill gonna be really useful on dark vision let's say when you want to deal lots of damage on that turn you can use this because wow 10% damage difference really matter including the all stats buff okay very nice skill for dark vision but maybe not so nice for trial and if you insist using it on trial maybe you can use this when let's say Urisa neo vision come to the global because if you don't know Urisa able to steal all imperil from your party and yeah add it to herself so very nice especially if you have let's say magic tank so she won't take damage anyway so very pretty good but you need to wait for Urisa to use it on trial and for limit burst again this is nothing special but if you use light and dark element this is good because 130 percent imperial okay above average only 10 percent but still it matters so that's all about the brave ship form now let's talk about equipment so for equipment i can say that she is pretty simple to gear you don't need to worry anything about her because even with bare minimum of equipment she gonna have nice spirit which enough to survive enemy attack instead i think you should make her into 100% provoker with 100% physical efficient or normal form because remember she can uh, she has 30% physical efficient i don't think brave ship is that important on trial battle because yes on trial battle you i don't think you want to use her grandest ability on brave ship okay so that's for equipment for partner c is usable with anyone who able to chain with bolting strike as long as the enemy don't absorb or assist like and dark element she is good breaker for your party okay very nice and that's all for equipment and partner my conclusion for krilla like i said on the beginning she was one of the best character on the past maybe right now she is not that good but still she is still perfectly usable on today meta okay but if you search for breaker i think there are better breakers than her because her 85 percent breaks are limited only two times other than that she is good but the best usage for her is on dark vision because that grandest ability is really nice to deal burst damage okay 
And yes, I think that's all you need to know about Krilla. Her Trust Master Reward and STMR are also pretty darn good. So even if you don't want, yeah, let's say you don't like Krilla Neo Vision form, then it's still perfectly okay to get her. Simply get her Trust Master Reward and STMR. But yeah, like I said before, if you don't like her, then don't force yourself to convert her into Neo Vision. Instead, create multiple 7 stars Krilla. In that case, you can get multiple STMR instead of forcing yourself getting her Neo Vision form, which you're never gonna use. But for me, I immediately make her into Neo Vision because I like her, okay? So, I think that's all you need to know. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy. Perfect Views Guide. Bye-bye, guys.